and then t- I'm drinking now, so this will be perfect. But, <laughs> but only water at the moment. But her beer is right in front of her. And we got some homemade Cracker Jacks that Mom set to us. I love my mom. Yeah, me too. You know, I never went through that phase that women seem to do, or like teenage girls seem to go through, where they're like, I hate my mom, she's so mean. You like, never went through that? I never did that. No, I don't think you... Did I? I don't think you did. I don't think I ever went through the whole stage of being like I don't think any parents. of us hated mom. Or or even really, da- I mean, dad's May, a character. Middle sister. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good catch. <laughs> What about our middle sister? I think she had a lot of rebellious. <laughs> she yeah. went against both parents, though. It wasn't specifically a mom. True. I had a friend in... Oh, mm-hmm. so people... <laughs> hmm? We're recording. Yeah? So I we did a little stuff and leveling up uh, and actually discovered we, a few things. You did. I, I d- Because... So- well, hold on. Explain to me. What's that green glow coming off of you? Oh, that's my healing. I got a regeneration little shard. You have a healing factor yeah, now? Your Wolverine? Uh, sure. <laughs> Regenerate. But I had to do that just because we miss so much. This game has, as you've seen in the last thing, has so much that we don't know. We just, we had to just do it. Yeah, we didn't want to, like, make you have to sit through us being like, what's going on? Yeah, what's happening? Remember how long it took us to find out that fish help you swim? Like, killing yeah. fish helps you swim? Now that actually makes sense to me, but it bugs me how long it took us to figure that oh out. Oh my god. It's just like, There's a oh. lot of things that it took us a long time to figure out. Yep. I so think we're doing. my chewing is real annoying. Can you hear my chewing? No, I think you're fine. Egg. You know what? what, <laughs> what who's see people? Of the two people that watch us, mm-hmm. screw them if they get annoyed by your chewing. Aww. You get to eat. <laughs> That's right, people. Yeah. I'm gonna eat some cracker nuts. So yeah, I didn't know you could uh, destroy ceilings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I. Oh. Hmm. Zaleski, oh, holy cow! Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know where this stuff was. Wow, you didn't fight any bosses or anything. You just strictly. I just strictly looked for. Her. And this is a secret. I'm not going into it, and here's why. What? I go into 8 bit world. If I die, game over. I don't get anything I just got. And the things are hitting 10 times harder than they should. Did that happen to you? Yes, it did. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what was happening, and then I went to 8 bit world. So I want to see 8 bit world. Let me see it. I'm gonna die. I just can't... go there and come back. I don't know how to go back. That's the problem. Oh. Yeah, that's why I don't want to go in because I don't. Tell me that there's an. Eight... You were riding that horse. <laughs> I know I was. To the Celeste area. Oh. Anyways, I was gonna recount a story, and I think it was seventh or eighth grade. I had a friend who I will not name, but anyway. <laughs> we try really hard not to name any of our friends. Yeah. Sorry if we fail, but at the same time, well, I mean, we should have been our friends friend. anymore. But at the time, we were, and I just remember her being like, "My mom won't buy me a Tinkerbell watch. She's such a bitch." And I remember being like, "What?" Well, yeah, exactly. Like literally, like what? <laughs> First of all, I don't expect my mom to buy me things, much less a Tinkerbell watch. Uh, like, yeah, and she's a bitch for giving you one? No, for not getting her one. Oh. See, she really wanted a Tinkerbell. Back then, and I might oh. be dating myself, back then Tinkerbell was huge. Like, what are you dating it? Tinkerbell's been huge since 2002. Two? That's when this was. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think that's when the uh, remake. Or, not mm. remake. She got her something, own something ha- She had her own, like, TV movie. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I can't remember where the Celeski was, can you? Um, I didn't know that there was. There's a Warhorse one, and that's the only one I can yeah, Oh, it might be near Jebel's place. Yeah, I'm in Jebel's place. Um, yeah. Yep. Oh, yep. uh, that one. That's Celeste. There it is. Okay, right. sure. Yeah. We're going with that, people. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell that my um, enthusiasm for this game has waned over the thousands of hours. <laughs> thousands? It hasn't even been thousands. You might want to turn up the game volume just a little bit. Mm, yeah, okay. Oh, I just heard. I heard. I can only hear that. I can't even hear the music though. There's never been music in this stupid. I mean, this wonderful game. <laughs> People worked hard at it, and it's good. It's not a bad. But it bothers game. me a lot. It's not a bad game. It's just there were a few issues for when it's your first thing filming. 
<laughs> you're like, oh, okay, mm -hmm. this is stupid. <laughs> mm -hmm. Other than that, I actually really enjoy the game. I enjoy aspects of it. But not the whole thing. Slash. Oh, that's good. That's good? Yeah. You say so. Uh, whoops. What happened? Did you hear the computer go ding? Yeah, why is that? That was me. I just clicked something. So, is this Elisa's room? Oh, the little cat! No, go ahead. What are you doing? It's like a music box. <sighs> Interesting. There's like a shrine to a cat. Yeah. Okay, what's that little egg-looking oh. thing on the left? Something was developing when I was sitting. What do you mean, something was developing? Look at the other chair. I saw, like, something happening. See? Oh! What the... It's you! I'm gonna wait until I solidify. I don't think you should wait that long. That seems like that would take a long time. I think you've solidified as much as you're gonna be. Uh -huh. You'll be on the other chair now. Yeah. I see it. Uh, what is the point of this room? I don't know. It hit that Faberge egg. Oh. oh. I can open it. That did nothing. Am I supposed to open? I'm gonna turn all these on. <sighs> And see if she like Dances finally comes you. into like life or whatever. <laughs> well, she came in faster, but I'm not seeing. It what seems is like the... a very useless room. What is the point of this room? Why did I get a key here? Hmm. Attack the walls and ceilings. Or Ooh, this is creepy sounding. All the music boxes are going up. Maybe you have to have the right song. Maybe we should have looked up. You know what? Do you know? it. Do what? I think this is the only appropriate reaction to this situation. <laughs> 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 Good luck. I, I thought you meant you were going to look up what happened as Lise. Nope, I'm going to drink. <laughs> is it the right music box? Ooh, but people, I finally got a job. You know, a <laughs> You know how much I lament being unemployed? I cannot do it. I can't do it. I understand other people can. I cannot. I know you can't, Julia. I don't understand. Yeah. I just can't not work. What is the point of this room? The last key. What is this? Bloodstained? Yes, bloodstained. Bloodstained. <laughs> uh -huh. Hey, look, other people made really succinct on the nose YouTube videos about this. Yeah, they're probably that's why they're being watched and we are. Oh wait, yeah. they have views. <laughs> <laughs> that's because they have people and friends that share their stuff. Oh no. People like us look them up being like, oh well, something useful. <laughs> well, whatever. Where to find Celeste no. and Dora? Okay. What does it do? It's a location in Bloodstain, Ritual of the Night. Please see walkthrough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it seems to belong to a woman named Celeste who is fond of collecting music boxes. That's it? Yeah. I feel like there's gotta be more, but I'm gonna go on with plot. <laughs> Cause, whatever. <laughs> That's it? it looks like that's it. It says, it's a location of bloodstained. She seems fond of collecting music boxes. She uh, appears in the chair right next to you when you sit. Yep. Inside her room, you'll find a series of music boxes that you can interact with, a portrait of a cat, and a chair for you to sit on. Sit on the chair and wait for a brief moment. A phantom will then appear sitting on the other chair. That is the Celeste room. That's it. That... That bugs me. <laughs> oh, hey look, Anonymous left a comment that says, Kind of seems a, like a little hats off to Castlevania. Uh, S-O-T-N room. 
where you can find a profession a confessional and a ghost shows up on the other side if you sit on the chair. But then again, a lot of the actual gameplay and enemies, as well as move sets and certain spells, are all a little half tilts to Castlevania Symphony of the Night, literally in the title of the game. Well yeah, this I knew this was supposed to be like, oh yeah, a Castlevania type game. I just never played a Castlevania, so I didn't know how weird they are! You never played a Castlevania? Not even the arcade one? Like the... Nope. Oh, that would have seemed way up your alley. That's like in your wheelhouse, man. I have a wheelhouse? <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here, Anonymous also says, no items? Okay. Poof. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm totally on board with that. It's almost like <laughs> I wrote that. <laughs> no, I'm not. Why would I be immune to poison? You had an item even when I was around. It's resistance. It's not immunity. Well, that's better than nothing. Did you just use an item? Right? What? We never do that unless we're just a boss. <laughs> well, I did, so whatever. Where is this? It's, I'm in the hidden desert. I'm just going on. Oh. I did the stupid Celeste room. It was pointless. It really was. It was... No items? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, he's in there with you! Oh, you're so dead. The other one's shooting fire at you. I'm not dead. You're dead! Obviously I'm not, since I'm still going. I'll be lying soon, shortly. Oh, I guess I don't rise anymore. Chemicals in your chicken, so you crave it fortnightly. What is that for? What? You don't know? Is that uh, so I married an axe yes, murderer? Yes, okay. so I married an axe murderer. <laughs> that is a great... If you have never seen Harriet. that movie, it is a great... Harriet! Hard hearted harbinger of haggis! <laughs> Beauty flows, who's <laughs> it? Unlove Ed. <laughs> Unlove Ed? <laughs> Beauty flows, he wants you back, he screams to die at night like a fireman. That, oh, next to a building that it has, has no, no fire. fire. <laughs> 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 it's about a bad beat poet, Mary Lee. It's a good one. A very good Mike Myers film. Oh, yeah. From the 90s, before Last Austin Moon. Powers. I don't know, we don't have any of those, so whatever. We don't have Joyous? No, no we don't have Joyous, so Miss uh, I don't know how to say it, so uh, that's just how it's going to be called, Joya. Joyous or Miss Hall. Miss Hall. Graham. Oh, Graham was a weapon. Thank you. Oh! Oh. Oh. I. Do it. Yep. And here's Great Sword answers only to those. What does that mean? Is it just as fast? Does that mean it just stops working if it doesn't like me? <laughs> if you're not worthy. Kill it! Kill it with fire! Oh. The ram. So much power. Yay, frog. Oh, and then power. Oh. Who's doing that? What? Is that your knight doing those little... Oh, yeah. Oh. He's a badass. So those don't hurt you. Oh, sweet. Save for him. What? Yeah. So oh, yeah. couches. I think, um... So, out of all the female hero characters, I rank Miriam very little personality. <laughs> <laughs> uh, every once in a while she will chime in with something that I'm like, oh, I just said that comment. <laughs> Where somebody's like, oh, you should trust me. And she's like, likely. <laughs> I'm like, all right. I'm on board. But... You and I were having an earlier conversation, and I was telling you that, as a little girl, I actually had quite a few pop culture, like, female icons that I looked at. And to me, it didn't seem like anything forced. Like, uh, I probably was, but like, uh, Gadget and Rescue Rangers, and the female cop in Bonkers. Like, they had to replace the male cop to get the female cop, but, like, growing up, I was like, oh, yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> Come to see me, have you? Oh, hey, Alfred. I forgot about Alfred. Yeah, you're a Was person. he the experimenter who injected Miriam, you with... What are you doing here? Uh, what are you doing here? What are you I'm doing? crouching what atop this door frame. <laughs> yeah, you should. I commanded you to leave this place. Well, I'm not going to. I cannot. I gave Jeebo my word. Jeebo. 
And I intend to keep it. If you notice also, she has a different outfit. <laughs> I did. Right. She's got like a witch hat. New hairdo. She got Does a hairdo. Does she have like a half a jacket on? She didn't always have it. Or maybe that's the scarf? You changed yeah, that might her be scarf? The scarf. Oh, wait. What Goodbye, is this? Miriam. Do you have to fight Alfred? <gasps> I think so. Oh, oh, oh no, he poisoned you! If only you had some kind of, I don't know, Stand resistance up. to poison. Ah, oh, but what could have done that? <sighs> Uh. <laughs> okay, are you just gonna be throwing poison all day like an ass? Oh no, he also threw ice. <laughs> <laughs> and he doesn't actually seem that intimidating. No, he's really not. The level is a small circle. <laughs> and it's just an oh, he cursed me? Okay, thing. that's a dick. Oh, that hurt you. If only you were better at dodging balls. <laughs> <laughs> if I could dodge a wrench, I could dodge a ball. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I haven't seen that movie in forever. It's a Spanish class, actually. Spanish class. Yeah, yeah, we even watched it in English. It was a really lazy class. What? You <laughs> watched it in Spanish it class like Spanish in too. English? I think it was like the end of the year. The teacher just couldn't be bothered. <laughs> that is. Public school is that's just <laughs> terrible. Hey, to this day, done this. Uh, <laughs> I remember going through Spain asking people where places were because I, everywhere I went, I got lost. And I remember going up to like literally everybody in Granada being like, "Dónde está este calle?" And one time this lady helped me so much, like just, we could not figure it out, and she just went. Like, go with God, whatever, you're done, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> like, like, I'm so glad they were just like, whatever. <laughs> like, we tried, you know, and I was like, I get it. <laughs> and I walked in the rain for about two more hours. <laughs> until I found my own. Oh, great. Go. So, oh, I should. yeah, do it. People, let me tell you, after this whole uh, airlines dying thing, Flights have never been cheaper. Air, air, what? <laughs> go to Spain, go to France. I've never been there, but go to Romania. Actually, really nice and so cheap. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of blood. Maybe I should South try to South Africa. Oh, that's a smart thing. Oh. Look at you! All of a sudden, it's instead of Vaisha. Ah, Vaisha. Let's see. Did you just stop my friend? You <laughs> walked right into it. I needed that hat. Oh, oh, oh. That was very bad. Wow, you only used it once and it collected all that blood? <laughs> you can't afford not to. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all that blood! <laughs> Look at that tomato! <laughs> you can't even cut a tin can with it. But, but you, you wouldn't, wouldn't want, want to! to. <laughs> Mr. Propel, I'm in trouble. Be your assistant on the double. Wow! <laughs> Early weird, weird Al is like my favorite, I have to say. Oh, good lord. I don't think his new stuff is like. If that's just because of nostalgia, maybe. But... Most likely. <sighs> or maybe I just like music better back then. You know? Really? Like, you saw from Red Hot Chili Peppers. This guy just won't die. Oh, I do like Fancy. I don't like what's her, Iggy Azalea as much, but I do like that song Fancy. Oh, and so okay. I do like Handy as a result. I'm so handy. You don't even know. I fixed 99 your problems. 99 problems with just one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's dead. I did. This power you have is even greater than I imagined. I must get back the book. All right. <laughs> that will never happen. What book? <laughs> I have to make it happen. I have waited too long. He said he was getting a book to like stop Gable, Gable, whatever his name is. Oh, well, why are you fighting each other? Because he wants to kill a gerbil and you don't. Uh, yes. Mm. yes. It's a conundrum, you see. Gerber. <laughs> Wait, are you just going back? Yeah. Oh, that room was simply to fight him? Yeah, but it unlocked the seal right here. Oh, if he had just unsealed that, you wouldn't have had to have killed him. Well, he disappeared. He's not dead. Er, right. Oh! Yeah. You get a shard. 
<laughs> you sharded. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Uh, oh, hey, it costs you to seek Now you can open treasure chests. Oh. That's something I told you earlier, but you were like, oh, what's missing? I was like, screw you. Yeah, that's usually how the conversation Now happen. I have a beer, so I'm taking things way easier. <laughs> <laughs> Kill that frog. <laughs> I believe it's called a water leaper. Thank you, comic book guy. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> How do you say loneliness in Klingon? <laughs> Karaka. <laughs> I don't think you guys caught that. I named my original character in Conan Exiles Gardak. <laughs> oh my gosh! It's uh, loneliness in Klingon. So by Conan, she means Conan Exiles. A really great game. I was just getting it. If you have friends that would like to play along. Or, if you want to play along with us, let us know. Yeah. We're out. What? <laughs> I play with them. Yeah, I play. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. Um, well, I know. I'm promising this while we have oh, no. No, what that voice? Oh, shit. Yeah. 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 yeah, what the hell? What the <laughs> hell, Link? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh no! Hey, I don't know. No. <laughs> oh, you can go up right there. So, oh! Uh, <laughs> thank you for showing the audience. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, I went to do a dark crystal reference. Oh my gosh! <laughs> really stop. Step right here. Um, all I remember is seeing a naked muppet and being like, no. <laughs> 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 it's an appropriate response. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was 20, so I was just like, this is a weird thing. For it's a just a weird movie. I was like, oh. Yeah. It just, they didn't. I don't know. I want to go back and watch developed. the never ending story again to see what I think of it now. Because mm. I was like maybe 10 the first time I saw it. God, I, I haven't seen the never ending story in a session. And it was like an old VHS that our family recorded off of TV. Oh my god. And like, oh, I miss like the old like 80s and 90s commercials that we used to have. Like, I want to go back and watch those those VHSs just to see those dumb like McDonald's chicken nuggets commercials. Where oh, but they had all the McDonald's characters. Yeah. I miss them. Well, even the chicken nuggets had personalities. Remember? Oh yeah. Yeah, they had like more little outfits. <laughs> oh, I miss those days. It's a good thing they're not marketing towards children anymore. <laughs> oh, wait, they are. They <laughs> are, yeah. Well, oh my god, I hate these. You're not allowed to have Grimace or the hamburger. Why not? Because kids get fat. Now they they're not going to have a hamburger because you know kids what? get fat. Instead of having little chicken nuggets with outfits, why don't they have little apple slices with outfits? I would be okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> Get on that McDonald's marketing! I know. <laughs> know what? You got something there, kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Way to not be a patronizing dick. <laughs> not my way. <laughs> <laughs> you go, girl. Uh, know what I favorites. failed to do? Mm -hmm. Save it. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> and just go up in that room, I'm sure it's nothing important. Uh, God, it's something important. <laughs> Mini boss! What? <laughs> nothing can possibly go wrong. Possibly go wrong. Yeah, it's possibly go wrong. <laughs> oh my gosh, you did this quote wrong! <laughs> you did it wrong. <laughs> I just meant that in general, and then it reminded me of a quote. You were the one who said, Nothing can possibly go wrong. Possibly go wrong. Yeah. Uh, first thing is gonna. Oh. <gasps> oh, you oh can't. I need that inversion thing. Oh, wait, up in the left. Yeah, I know. There's a whole thing right there. Oh. Alright, we'll do that. Oh, God, I'm so. Good thing that was on the way. Otherwise, we would have <laughs> wasted people's time. <laughs> <laughs> certainly. Uh, certainly it's not being wasted at the moment. Yeah, no. no. <laughs> We've never done that before. Yeah, I don't know. That would have been a first. Yeah. Flame Whip! Check it out. Oh! Check it out now. The, the Funk Soul, soul Brother. Flame Whip. We have three. <laughs> we must have not been paying attention. <laughs> I'm not a whip enthusiast. You have two. <laughs> Let's continue. Okay. <laughs> Don't do <them> not. <laughs> I. Wow. <laughs> what? Did Boo just heal you 500? 
Yeah. Oh, hey. And it was food you'd already eaten before. Yeah. So, we have been definitely overlooking the importance of food I've items. noticed that when I played. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed that you could make more food, but I was like, that's useless. <laughs> yeah, they're like, oh. See, I bet, like, they probably told us certain things of importance, and we just ignored it. I don't it. know if they told it to us, or we were just too lazy to bother. There's a treasure bag. There's a treasure bag. <laughs> treasure bag! Dragon bones. Treasure bones. Treasure pounds! You know what? I'm not even. You know. <laughs> it's a song now. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're giving up treasure bones. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Why? Don't make it weird. <laughs> <laughs> treasure bones is wholesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> uh, treasure bones is wholesome. I believe you wanted to talk about female pop culture figures. What? In the 20th century I think versus that... the 21st century. Uh, <laughs> I Continuing no idea our conversation you're... we had around oh, the time of Alfred. Are you talking? Oh, the, the Sally's? year 2020. Um, what? Are you talking about? Okay, wait, what? Oh, how pop I said on personality for Mira. Female <laughs> representations in pop culture from the end of the 20th century versus the beginning of the 21st century. I'm gonna tell you this right now. It seems to me like this whole women's movement thing is actually a thing made by guys who are like, oh, okay, you wanna be in this? Fine, you're in this, and you're the dumbest character I could ever think of. <laughs> That's what I think is happening. <laughs> and it's kind of like... Uh, okay. Well, no, like, look at... Okay, it's Marvel's Endgame, right? Yes. They had that scene where it was just like a bunch of women in a row, and they're oh, yeah. being like, we're powerful, Let's imposing. Do. And I was just like, even in the theaters, I love that movie, but at the same time, I had to roll my eyes, because I was like, yeah, I get it. <laughs> like, you're female characters in the Marvel Universe, and I guess a bunch of people said there wasn't enough representation. And in a lot of ways, oh, uh, you're trapped. Anyways, in a lot of ways, that's actually true. Um, there hasn't been a whole lot of representation. No, there hasn't. There, well, um, I mean, in the well, 80s. In the 80s, there was actually more diverse representation than there has been lately. And it's like, we it's step back. Weird. Part of it has to do with stereotypes. How are you supposed to get the invert gravity? I don't know, but I think maybe I need to have deep sinker and look throughout all the water area I'm getting. Um, yeah. Treasures. Yep. You gonna save it first? I'm gonna get to this warp, which is near save. And then I can go underwater. Oh, but also, on the bottom left, there's some... Oh, you... Okay, yeah. Now save it. Anyways! <laughs> <laughs> um, I think the problem was that uh, there were a lot of stereotypes used when they had diverse representation, but... Well, were the stereotypes... Then, or did they become a stereotype? Oh, I mean, I don't know. Like, 1980s cop movies always had to have a black chief who was sick and tired of this shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> right? I, admittedly, I do miss that But character. also, yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't think it was a bad character. Like, no, they should yeah. be tired of their shit. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Brooklyn Nine-Nine, though. -Nine. No, that is a diverse cast. It's got yeah. both men and women. And <laughs> it does have a black police chief guy who is awesome. <laughs> and he's gay. <laughs> yep, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> so, okay, there are some modern things that are doing pretty good. My goodness, I haven't seen the latest Deep season Singer. of that show. Okay. Oh, it's on. It's just on. It is? Oh. It's oh, in the corner, thing. right there. <laughs> oh, kill that horse. But anyways, it just feels really forced. Get that treasure bag. There could be a dragon bone in there. It's a water horse. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Oof. It does, and like... Um, yeah. I want good representation, and it's just like, Me if too. I see bad representation, I'm just gonna call it what well, it is. It's yeah, bad representation. Yeah, it's almost more detrimental than just having it. Like, for instance... Okay, Ray from Star Wars. I think it is doing more good than bad, honestly, because I saw really? little kids dressed up as Rey. And I'm yeah, like, That's for cool. now. But when I was in fourth grade, I dressed up as Yoda. Okay, it was either Yoda or Princess Leia. 
I don't know, she had that badass Ewok uh, stuff on. And then she had that bounty hunter no, stuff. No, no, Leia is actually a pretty badass character. I'm totally happy with her. But I just didn't feel like having hair buns, okay? So I wore a Yoda mask. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we're at! <laughs> Fair enough! <laughs> I, I guess! <laughs> Point is, <laughs> what is it's nice to have more female characters than literally just the one. I guess there might have been Mothma. I, it wasn't really a character I knew existed until I was older, and real Star Wars nerds were like, Mothma's a character. <laughs> True. Like, well, oh. it's like Mara Jade. She was a really oh, cool yeah. character, and I feel like. Fuck versus whore. <laughs> <laughs> we well, already talked like, about Masters of Terror. I feel like they um. Like, they replace. Uh, that clam's up to no good. Oh, that. I don't know. Uh uh. No uh. -uh. Get out of there. Get oh. out of there. Oh no. Oh no. It's, it's clams. Kick your ass. Clams. It was Mara Jade you're saying is a really awesome character. Yeah, and they just kind of erased her. They literally did erase her. And it's just like, <laughs> she was way more. She could have been way more interesting and all that stuff. Well, they could have made her canon, is what they could have done. They could have, and, and she would have been, been actually. I would have been okay with it. I would have liked. I think she was one of those few For ones. Those not in the know, Aaron. <laughs> Mara Jade was Luke Skywalker's wife. Yeah. In like books and stuff like that. Yeah, and they had like two kids or something. Did something. they really? Yeah. Yeah, that would have been cool. I would have loved that. And, I mean, Luke already showed that you can break the bounds of. Jedi. Yeah, I don't know why Luke would like, back... Like, he doesn't have to be single and celibate his entire yeah, life. Yeah, I don't know... From birth I don't know why Luke went back, because why would he know that? Well, that wasn't even something to Yoda told him. The traditional way of being a Jedi when he was never a traditional Jedi. Yeah. You know? Like, he, would, he always found his own way of doing things, and then, like, to go back and try to teach from these books that he never quite understood or learned from is weird to me. Yeah, it just... Instead, it, he should have gone from his own life experience. Well, being like, I just don't I know why he would have been... I don't know why he would have done that. I don't know why his motivation would be so with the past Ooh, Jedi. Oh, oh, what the past Jedi would have been. What? That's still Monique. And Alpha. Uh -huh. uh, I knew it! <laughs> oh, wait. This was your proposal, Exorcist. Explain yourself. I should have been there, but you broke your word as well when you laid that trap for me. I wasn't She's allowed evil. to allow the book to fall into your hands. The church wants the book. <laughs> what? The church is evil <laughs> and a Japanese oh, RPG? Maybe they're not. They don't want it. Oh. Perhaps for your <gasps> parents. Backstory. Parents. <laughs> Someone has been putting ideas in your head. <sighs> Miriam. Uh -oh. How did you get through the underwater area, Dominique? <laughs> <laughs> no oh, Miriam, I forgot to tell you. I have some gillyweed. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I would have preferred you not see that. Well, of course Now we must so fight. The trap Alfred laid was for you? Yes, and that's why I sent Zangetsu to deal with it. He has what the power the to stop Alfred from teleporting. Oh. I thought he might but be you able to be an elf. Are you like well, we single? With our bigger problems is he here. single? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Isn't that about your parents? Revenge? <sighs> I don't want you to get the wrong idea, so I suppose I had better tell you. Well, yeah. My parents were exorcists, like me. Like you? But during the demon outpouring ten years ago. They were killed in battle. And so you blame me. <laughs> yes, she does. <laughs> my reasons for hating demons and that accursed book. Yeah, okay, so she wants to destroy the book? I don't find that like a problem. <laughs> yeah, so this is a book about how to inject children with demon crystals? Yeah, exactly. Uh, I mean, I'm not really for censorship, so but sorry. at the same time... <laughs> <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> All that matters now is that I gain control of the Liba Logayeth and prevent it from ever being used for evil again. This sounds like a real right. problem. I'll help what? You. She wasn't asking for help. Thank you shouldn't you. volunteer. Uh. I'll do all I can for you in return. Okay. Can you just feed the old lady so I don't have to deal with her shit? <laughs> you didn't answer! <laughs> 
Well, maybe we'll get an answer next episode. Oh! No! Oh, I did it again! <laughs> <laughs> healing, healing before I go into this really bad place.